What's up, guys? It's Liquid, West Texas Vaping Coalition, and tonight we're going to be talking about this behemoth right here. It's the 722 by uh, Pioneer for You, and uh, this has the SX, SX2220 board in it. Um, what this is is a variable wattage device that um, goes up to 22 from 7 to 22 watts, hence the name 722. Uh, it does take a 26650 battery, and I will let you know this thing is honking. This is a heavy, 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 built like a freaking freight train um, device. So we'll go over this uh, top to bottom, and uh, we'll talk about what I like, what I don't like. Is it worth it? Where did I get it? How much was it? And uh, do I think you should get it? So first, let's have a vape. Man. Yep. Travesty. That's what I'm vaping from a 180 vape. Actually, that's a little bit dry. We'll get a couple more drops on here. Uh, these U cans are awesome. So if you guys get a chance to get them, get them. I love them. Sanokin really did something right with that. I got like 10 or 12 of them or something. Things are awesome. Easy to drip. Put my good old travesty and my quasar. This is built at 0 0.6. This is a 0.6 build, uh, 28 gauge cantho, dual coil, and mm, monster thing hits really well. I got this from the good folks, of course, over at the Vape Shack. They stay on top of things. And uh, it was 100 and, I think it was 150 bucks is what I got. And I got the device. I got a 26650 battery. And I also got a bottle of juice. Thanks, Melvin. Um, and oddly enough, just side note, the bottle of juice I got, I don't know if it's the real name. Um, we just were sitting around, me and some of the other customers were sitting around, and we mixed uh, the West Texas heat that he has with jalapeno, and uh, it got really milky white, so we call it the gooey kakui, and when you first try it, it's like, Ugh! and then as soon as you're done vaping it, you're like, I want more, so if you guys get a chance locally, check it out. Anyway, we're going to do the unboxing, talk about this thing top to bottom, um, go about the ins and outs, go through the menu system and everything, and... Uh, We'll do that in a second, so sit tight. All right, guys, we are back with the 722 unboxing. This is the box for the 722. Um, it almost looks like a firecracker box. It's just got that firecracker red and uh, white. There's your information. 18 and over. A uh, little logo on this side. I don't know if you can see it or not. Some more local with a super wattage system and then the other side a little bit of tape logo nothing on the bottom and uh, that's it so you open it up you're going to get your 722 users manual and it's not that bad of a manual um, shows you how to run through and work everything so you're gonna get a manual you are going to get your little certificate of authenticity, which is really cool. It's always nice to know you're getting the right product and not getting a knockoff and paying the right product price. And then you're going to get the device. So there's the unboxing of the 722. And this is the monster right here. And you will get with this monster your top cap. Control head, battery tube, and bottom cap. That is the 722 all torn apart. So uh, now I'll put it together for you. Mm. 
but this thing is the top cap. Look at that pig. That is a big honking chunk of metal right there. And it's 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 heavy. It ain't gonna bend. You ain't gonna have to worry about anything. Um before I put the top the top cap back on, you guys can see here you have your ego and your 510 connection. Um, I do know that um, the Pro Tank 3 minis will fit on here without taking the dust cap off. I don't know if the T3s will fit on here, but uh, the Pro Tank 3 minis do. I don't have a T3, so. Here is your 510 connection, and the cool thing about, well, this version, I know the second runs that are coming out um, won't have this, but right now, it's a spring-loaded 510 connection, which is really cool. I don't know why they're doing away with it with the second run, but they are. So that is it. Nice big huge air airline channels in there in the top cap. And it is it's just really pretty. I like I like the finish on this. This has got like that satin brush finish. And uh, so it's not a fingerprint magnet, but they broke it up so you got a little bit of stainless or a little bit of like polished here. And the button's polished and the button is really listen. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's really clicky. It's got a good tactile feel to it. Then you have your battery body and your bottom cap with your venting and the bottom cap has a nice big big beefy spring in there um, the whole list of players in this you're gonna have reverse battery protection you're gonna have low voltage protection you're gonna have over discharge protection um, all that good gravy but just put the battery in positive side up screw it on and the threads on these are buttery smooth too and as you screw it on you're gonna see the pioneer for you logo Boy, it's hard to do sideways and say the SX 200 and you think it was on right now but it's not so that's the I don't know why I would start off like that but at any rate to uh, get into this Let's see if I can, let me move the camera here for a second, boys and girls, hold on. So happy I'm, here is your screen, and to get into this, that's five clicks. You're going to get the Pioneer for you, SX220. Now I'm going to get off of autofocus. There we go. So now it is on. And it's going to give you a whole bunch of information. You're going to have your wattage, your battery life, battery voltage, and your uh, your ohm setting, which nothing's on it, so it says 2.5 right now. But the thing I do like about it, as soon as you're done firing, you let go, it's dimming out. That's pretty neat. I do like that. Um, to get into everything, it's kind of like a Segelli, uh, but they're saying it's not a Segelli. But to get into it, you throw to, uh, let's say you want to lock it, three clicks, one, two, three, it's locked. And since it is locked, now it won't do anything, it won't fire. So if you want to unlock this three times again, one, two, three, check that out, now it's unlocked. So that's the locking feature. To get into the menu feature, you hit the button five times. One, two, three, four, five. System on, hit the button again. You have your wattage up and down, hit the button again. You have your exit. So we'll go to the first one, system on, and this is where it turns into a Segele. If you lean it one way, it says bye-bye, and then it shuts off. Turn it back on. Pioneer for you, SX220, that's the chip, now it's on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, system on, wattage, and this will go anywhere from 7 watts to 22, it starts off slow, it gets a little bit faster, and then it kicks into third gear, and it does not round robin, so if you messed up, I'm going to go back down. I'm 
Seven watts. So you just lean it whatever way you need to to get it to where you need it to be, and when you get it to where you need it to be, just tip it back up. 13 watts. Lock it into place. Just click it. And then it says exit. Tilt it. And you can only tilt it one way. I don't know why there's arrows on both sides because if you tilt it the opposite side, it doesn't do anything. So, but that is, uh, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple menu. Um, I know that, like the version ones were just kind of basic. The version two has a really cool pioneer for a new logo on the side. Um, and I said the next version that's coming out it's not going to have that spring pin in it which really really stinks um, but it is heavy it's a heavy 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 device but it's made very well all the threads all the way through are buttery smooth um, you don't have to worry about anything the machining on it is just is just wonderful I mean the way it looks the lines are all nice and tight I do like see how the, you have this notch here I love that notch um, it just it fits right in your hand like that notch just that's right where it's supposed to be for your index finger or if you're one of the thumb hitters. It's perfect for your thumb. Your thumb rests right on it. You can roll right off the right off the button. And the cool thing is, see, button doesn't move. It's in there very well. That's really cool. The screen is super, super bright. Um, it's just all around a great device. And it's damn near a personal protection device, too, because if you got that in your hand, Somebody comes at you at night. You can you can definitely hurt somebody with that. But it's very heavy. It's built very well. It's not really going anywhere. It's pretty stable for as tall as it is. But it is heavy. I'm not really sure. Let's see what it says inside the thing. Does a user manual tell us what the weight is? Probably not. Nope. Nope. Uh, but like I said, the power range is 7 to 22. Output voltage is going to be anywhere from 4 to 8.5 volts. Um, I will tell you that this device will boost, but it will not buck. And that's one of the issues I have, and I'll show you in a little while. Uh, battery voltage range is 3.2 to 4.2 volts. And it will go anywhere from 0.5 ohm up to 3 ohms. So if you're going any lower than 0.5, this is not the, this is not the device for you guys. But with that being said, there's some there's some cool things about this. Um, I know that I've put on, you know, the the higher ohm. I did it. I think I did a. Oh, what was it? I think it was like three ohm. I think it was a three ohm or a four ohm, and uh, hit it all the way down to like 12 watts, and I'm still getting 8.5 volts. So the thing hit very well. Um, but let me show you something. One of the issues that I have is, let me put my Quasar on here, and it automatically notices it, so it comes up. You can see it's a 0.5 ohm, and I have it sitting at, well, here, I'll turn it up. Let me turn it up. Keep going, keep going. Okay, I'll max it out. 22 watts, okay? It's 3.31 volts on a half ohm. It's really not possible. So watch what happens when I fire this thing. This thing goes from 7 to 22 watts, but watch. So when I'm firing it, it's actually firing at 24 to 25 watts. I guess woohoo, yay for me, but it's like we're just doing it the opposite way where I'm not really trying to, I don't know why I would do a 0.5 this way, but watch. It's like we're going to do 10 watts. Okay, come on. 
I'm backwards. There we go. 10 watts. It's like for some reason I just want to I want to vape this at 10 watts. Now on like a DNA 30, um, what would happen with the DNA 30 is it would you know my my ohms would start blinking. It would show that that's not right. I can't do that. So what it would do is it would dump power in order for me to be at 10 watts. But with this one, what it'll do is it jumps right back up. So it will not buck at all. Well, the DNA 30 doesn't buck either, but what it'll do is it'll dump power in order for it to stay at the 10 watts. This one doesn't. It just forces Ohm's law and uh, will stay, or it'll actually move to where it needs to be. So I guess in essence, you especially if you're doing 0.5, you can have a set wherever the heck you want. It's going to hit at the 24.9 watts, 24.6 watts. So I think that might be a little bit of an issue I'd like to see in the new revision where, actually I would like to see a buck. I think that would be awesome. And I think the DNA would, should, it should do the same thing. It should be able to buck. It does bump, but it doesn't buck. So that is a, that is a little bit of an issue. You know, I think, I think it's something that they could fix. Um, what I would also like to see is, I'd like to see, I mean, it dims really fast, but it stays on for a long time. I think that should be shortened. And I think that's you know, something they can put in the menu feature where you can say how long you want this, uh, this screen to be on. Because believe it or not, that's still battery. And you can see, you know, it's real-time voltage, so it's showing you it's going up and down. Um, so that will show up some battery life. Um, another thing that I would like to see is, in the menu is how long of a hit that you can take, you know, instead of the 10 second, you know, the basic 10 second thing. I think you should be able to do that anywhere, from, we'll say from, you know, 5 to 15 or, you know, or something. It'd be nice to raise it or lower it accordingly in order to uh, make your vape experience a little bit more personal. But that's, uh, is what it is. I am, a, I am but a vapor. Maybe they'll listen. But that's pretty much it. I haven't had any other issues. I will let you know that uh, the battery does last a long time. You know, that is a 26650. The battery will last a while. Um, I did see online that there is an aftermarket company that is actually making another battery tube for this. So it will accommodate stack 26650s. I um, really don't think there's a need for that. I mean, I guess if you want that, you can get the Congestus. But I've talked to a couple of people with the Congestus, and they said on the stack side, you know, you're taking one and a half or two second tugs and your RDA is dry. And to the RDA people, let's make a bigger RDA so that they will fit better on this. I've been looking for the Russian big and I've been able to find it. I think it would look really cool on this. Um, but I would like to see a nice big RDA that I can put on some of my 26650 devices and, you know, it'll be the same diameter. Um, I will say that every RDA I have put on here, especially with that spring pin, has been flush. I haven't had any issues at all. I haven't had, you know, any problems with, you know, the pins not touching or anything like that. That's what I like about the spring pin in here. I know one of the drawbacks of the spring pin is that over time that pin could actually carbonize and actually, you know, give voltage loss. So hopefully that's not an issue. But that is it. Top to bottom, the uh, 722. We will take it back to the original screen, have another vape. Closing thoughts and uh, go on from there so stay tuned what's up guys we're back and uh that is uh, pretty much it for the 722 i do like it um like i said overall i think the thing it works like a champ and uh at least i'm getting a workout i have to vape i'll switch hands to vape so as i'm vaping i'm actually working out a little bit because it is heavy it's very 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 heavy um a lot of people might not like that but it makes me feel like I got something for the money that I paid for it personally, you know. So I do like that part. Let's take another break. I said at 10 watts, but hitting at 24. It does hit well, man. It hits really well. And like I said, I do like it. Like I said, the only drawback that I have is it doesn't buck. Um, I should be able to change the the timeout on the screen. And 
Let me go back to autofocus here. I just noticed that's all messed up. There we go. Hey, how you doing? But I, I wish I would change that, and I wish I could change my vape time. Because uh, there are some times where I just want to take a really, really long, slow tug, and uh, it does time out on me, so you got to, like, double push the button, and sometimes when that happens, you end up locking it or whatever. But it would be nice to change that as well. Um, other than that, I, I can't see anything else, you know, wrong with it. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you know, it's a, it's a DNA killer. Um, I don't think so. Um, I think it's a, it's a really good product coming out of China and it's made really well and they're listening. And I think we're going to see a lot of devices, you know, down the road that are, are going to be higher and higher wattage from uh, these Chinese manufacturers and a, and a good price range too. I mean, I know that you can get them online for... It was 129 or $139 or something like that. But for me, locally, and I got it right away for like 150 bucks or 160 bucks, and I got a free battery and I got a free bottle, of, you know, 30 mil bottle of juice. Hey, I'm I'm fine with that. That's that's awesome. And I got to see it and it's in my hand and I got to touch it and I got to talk to other people that have it and see how they like it. So um, that was a cool thing. And I think we're going to see some 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 really cool devices coming out in the next six months to a year as long as people don't take it away from us. Er. But all in all, I mean, compared to the, the stuff we have been seeing from China, you know, the company that made this, the Pioneer for You, they got this one, and they also have the Segeli 20, um, which is, it's a SX200 board. It's the same board, um, but it's just it just goes to 20 watts. And same thing, there's another company out there that's doing stacked 18650 tubes for that, too. Um, but I haven't got my hands on the Segeli 20 yet. Maybe I'll try to get a hold of one of those and do a review on that, but... This one's made very well, and I think uh, I think these other companies that have kind of been stagnant in the game, you know, with you know their their 20 or 30 watt mods and stuff, better watch if China's knocking on your door. Uh, then you have Grand Innovations, you know, coming out with their their 100 plus watt you know device, which that's just absolutely insane. And then um, Vicious Ant actually has the variant that's that's coming out, the variant Slim and the variant. If you guys haven't seen that, go to the Vicious Ant website and check out the little video on that built really well and um hundred and what was it 125 watts or something like that or 200 watts or something uh, just absolutely insane but it looks like an iphone and it's just built well and you know things are changing i don't know why you would need that much wattage really but it's just cool to have it you know just, you know i like to have a car that goes 400 miles an hour it doesn't mean i'm going to go 400 miles an hour all the time but there might be a couple times where i would do it so do i think it's worth it Yes, I think it's absolutely worth it. If, if you guys have, if you're using a variable voltage or a variable wattage device and you're like, man, 15 watts just ain't cutting it, this is the one for you. Because the cool thing about this is it's this this one at 22 is the best of both worlds. I mean, I can put an RDA on here. I can build a 0.5 ohm, you know, or, or above build and get, you know, really good clouds out of it depending on my build. It's going to taste really well. It's gonna, The battery's going to last. And it, it is what it is. Um you want to fill a tank, put a, you know an Aspire on there, and uh, you know vape it like that. This will work for that too because it still looks good with that. You know it's a five mil tank, so it, it looks right with it. So it, instead of having to carry you know a variable voltage, variable wattage device, and a mechanical device, you know this is pretty much a one stop shop, which is is pretty you know is pretty cool. Which that's why they should do the buck feature, I think in my in, in my honest opinion because you know you might run a 1.5 or 1.8 ohm Addy and you want to run it at you know seven or eight watts, and you don't want it to jump to you know seventeen or eighteen. You burn Addies out that way. But I'm very happy with it. And I think you guys will be happy with it too. I really think if you guys get a chance, this is one to definitely pick up. It works well. It's just fun. I mean, this is the second conversation to starter that I have because the first one I had was the 134, and when people saw the 134, they're like, you know, oh my god, that thing is huge. And my response was. Thank you. Um, but anyway, this is this is the next one. You know, not only is it very impressive in the way, you know, the machining is is awesome. It's just a very sexy looking device, you know, and it works. It's not like they, you know, put all the thought into the way, the aesthetics, and it doesn't work worth a crap, or they didn't think about aesthetics and it works well. You get the best of both worlds in this one. It looks just as good as it vapes. Um, it vapes very well. It hits very well. It works very well. I've had it for about four four days now, and I've been vaping on this one pretty much. Uh, you know, if I'm not using a mechanical, 
this is the one I've been using and I haven't had any issues at all the only issue that I had with it was the first day that I got it I didn't really get to vape it that much but it got vape very well because everybody's like let me try it let me try it let me try it so but I think uh, I think it's, it's definitely a good buy so you know if you guys are not in the area and you're looking for it I know e uh they have them I think they're currently out of stock they're waiting for version two uh, they said they should be in Monday um, there are a couple other sites uh, Rip has been using e -Siggity and he really likes that site so I guess you know if Rip has been you know using it and trusting it I, I would too so if you get a chance jump over there I know I, I was on the site and they do have the Sigeli 20s so if you're looking for a Sigeli 20 they do have them if you want to wait for the 22 it should be there Monday so swoop them up if you can so that is it that is the uh, the big monster huge Punkin 722 by Pioneer for you so hopefully some of that information was helpful if you guys have any comments please leave them down below and uh, got vape lots